Hello friends, welcome back to Online Maths Hub. We have this uh, system of equation to solve. Okay, so you can see that right here. We just need to find the values of x and y that satisfy this system of equation. Uh, so you just want to uh, follow through as we proceed with the solvings. This is an Olympic mass uh, problem. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can go about solving this kind of equation. So what you just need to do is uh, if you need to our channel, do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content, you will get, actually get to know about it. And of course, you can go ahead and check it out. And of course, if you are watching us on Facebook, do well to hit the like button too and uh, follow our page and share this video to your friends so that they will also get to enjoy it and uh, having done that we are now going to proceed with this video so what i'm going to do let me just number them for the sake of reference so if i call this equation one i then call this equation two okay so what i'm going to do is to rewrite equation two and if i do that i will just factorize these three out right there so i have x power one over four and then a power three plus y power one over five and then i'll factorize this uh, three out there so that if i multiply through i will still have what i had over there it's equal to 35. okay so next i am going to set this x power one over four to be equal to let's say m and then i will set y power one over five to be equal to um, of course, this is actually going to make the work more convenient for me to solve. Okay, so if I have that equation 1, now changes to m plus n is equal to 5. And the equation 2 now changes to, uh, this is m power 3 plus n power 3, 2, n power 3 is equal to 35 okay so this is what i have so the next here. thing i want to do is i am going to uh, take the cube of equation number one so if i have this to be my new equation one so let me just call it one star and then this one now becomes my equation number two star okay so i can actually take the cube of uh, one star so that i have m power n cube is equal to five a cube okay and of course if i expand this m plus n power three i'm going to be having m power three plus n power three and then plus three m squared n plus 3 m n squared okay and of course it's equal to 1 2 5 and of course you if you watch this this is m cube plus uh, n cube with the same as equation 2 star and it is the same as 35 so i'm going to replace this with 35 right here okay and then plus i have 3 m squared n plus 3 m n squared is equal to one two five okay so i'm going to move this 35 to the right and so that i have three m squared n plus three m n squared is equal to one two five minus 35 okay three m n is actually common here so i'm going to factorize it as three m n and if i bring three m n out here m will remain and then n will remain over here and this is equal to 125 minus 35 should give 19. Okay, so at this point, I have M plus N. And if you look at what we have in one star over here, we, we say that M plus N is actually equal to 5. So I'm going to replace this with 5. Okay, so which I have now M3 MN multiplied by 5 okay is equal to 90 so that i have 15 mn is equal to 90 and then i can go ahead to divide through by 15 this cancels this 
and then mn is equal to 90 divided by 15 to give me 6. So what I'm going to do now is if you look at this place, I can actually make one of these the subject of formula. So if I make m the subject of formula here, you are going to be seeing that from one star, m is actually going to give us 5 minus n. Okay, so if you watch that, m is equal to, I just moved this n to the right hand side. So our m will be equal to 5 minus n. And that is what I have down here okay so that i can now go ahead to replace that if i call this uh three star so i can go ahead to replace m in three star so that what all that we have there is five minus n okay and is equal to six of course, if I multiply to this, implies that uh, 5n minus this time this will give us n squared is equal to 6. Okay, so what I have there is 5n minus n squared is equal to 6. So I can actually move this 6 to the left hand side so that I will have 5n minus n squared minus 6 is equal to 0. Next, I'm going to multiply through by negative. So if I do that, this changes to positive. So I have n squared. So this changes to negative 2 minus 5n. And then this will change to positive plus 6 is equal to 0. And of course, this is a quadratic equation, which I'm just going to factorize because it's actually factorizable. So the two numbers that when I multiply them, it gives me 6 is uh, and then when i sum them it gives me negative three is minus uh, three and minus two so i have n here n squared minus two uh, n and then minus three n plus six is equal to zero okay so i can go ahead to factorize n is common here n minus factor factorize n here too remains three is common here n and then minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so I have n minus 2 and then n minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so I actually pick the one of these and then also n minus 3. So using the 0 product to what I have here is that n minus 2 is equal to 0 or n minus 3 is equal to zero which obviously from here n is equal to two or n is equal to three okay so having gotten this so i'll replace the value of n in this equation right here so that we get the value of n so what i have here is that my m is equal to five minus one so we have for n equal to two M, my m here will be equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 and then for n equal to 3 for this my m will be equal to 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 okay so you can see that i've gotten the values of n and m but don't forget we actually set our x power 1 over 4 to be equal to m and then y power 1 over 5 to be equal to n okay so this is what i have i'm just going to be making the substitution for of uh, for m equal to okay for m equal to 3 equal to 3 and uh, n equal to 2 so what I now have is 3 is equal to x power 1 over 4. Okay. I'm just going to uh, raise both sides to power 4. Let me raise this to power 4 and then raise this one to power 4. Okay. So that this cancels this. And then my x is now equal to equal to 3 power 4 which is equal to 
81 y now becomes of course we have 2 here is equal to y power 1 over 5 okay so i'm going to raise both sides to power 5 2 power 5 is equal to y power 1 over 5 and then power 5 so this 5 cancels this and then y is now equal to 2 power 5 which is which is equal to 32 okay so moving on we see for m equal to 2 here so for m equal to 2 and n equal to uh, 3 we get the values of x and y so for m equal to 2 and then n equal to 3 so 2 is equal to x power 1 over 4 of course which implies that uh, Two, I'm going to raise both sides to power 4. 2 power 4 is equal to x power 1 over 4. 1 over 4. Okay, and then power 4. This cancels this. x is now equal to 2 power 4, which is equal to 16. Okay, and then for n, we have 3 is equal to y power 1 over 5. Of course, it's, this implies that raising both sides to power 5, 3 power 5 is equal to y power 1 over 5 or and or power 5 this will cancel this and um, we imply that y is not equal to 3 power 5 and that is actually going to give you 2 4 3 okay so putting everything together our x comma y will be equal to so the first one we have here is x is equal to 81 and then y is equal to 32 over here y is equal to 32 and then x is equal to 81 32 okay and then the second one we have second one we have here so you can see this right here that x is equal to 16 and then y is equal to 2, 4, 3. So I'm going to put it right here. x is equal to 16. And then y is equal to 2, 4, 3. So these are all, these are the values of x and y that satisfy the equation we are solving. So that is how you actually solve this kind of uh, equation. Uh, of course, if you have understood what we've stopped, make sure you hit the like button. And of course, if you have any question, do drop in the comment box and I will uh, surely get back to you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.